Good morning all, this is your uh, trusty professor of acting and directing, Lucas. Um, one of you had a question about the dialogue exercise uh, and what you're supposed to be doing. So you all have your the dialogues, there's sides is what it is, so it's a couple pages of a, of a scene that you're going to do with your partner. So. Uh, what I might have missed in explaining the repeat exercise and we got into it a little bit with the students that were live yesterday is that when you're doing the repeat exercise, the one thing you want to go back to over and over again, anytime that you're getting ready to say a line of dialogue or if you're in a scene in general, is to think back on that want, that want that you have as a person right now. So the idea of, of the dialogue exercise is when you are ready to express your need uh, and that want, when you're ready to express your want, then you start interacting with your other actor, your fellow actor, thinking about and, re and considering your want as you're getting ready to say the words on the page. So that's why the repeat exercise is a good way to kind of warm up to that. So you might even do that before you actually do your dialogue thing. So you'll start with the repeat exercise and, and you'll say, uh, you have a beard, I have a beard, you have a beard, I have a beard. All, all along, when you're doing that with your partner, you're thinking about what your want is, right? And how do you behave given that want and given the circumstance of how you're going to get that want. Uh, so sometimes there's a large want, like what we've been talking about. Sometimes it can be small. One of the interesting things that happened yesterday when we were doing the repeat exercise, for example, is Caleb uh, was on break from work. So he had a time constraint. And that's a really, really powerful tool that you can use as an actor, as a storyteller, as a director, is if you know that person has a constraint on their time, then guess what? Then they will be able to use that as a motivation of getting through a scene. Like, I know I've got to get to my next goal because I've only got so much time. And you've seen it over and over again in movies. So. With the dialogue exercise, with the repeat exercise, what you want to do really is to think about how I can use a need or a want that I have and then use the words on the page to express that. So it could be as simple as I'm hungry and I want to eat. And when you're reading those words on the page, think about that want or that specific need. I'm doing this to get to food. I'm doing this to get uh, gas. I'm doing this to turn in an assignment. Whatever the case may be. So use that piece of, use that want as what's motivating you when you're reading the pages or doing the repeat exercise. So just think about that. That's what it is. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to hit me up. Uh, I'm going to be dropping these tip videos every once in a while. Um, over the next few weeks uh, to help guide you along. So if you have any questions, email me uh, anytime and we can catch up on Zoom or we can try to go back and forth. Take care.